Hi, Leo. Welcome. Check your sun sign, your rising sun sign. Where do you have Leo on your chart? Keep an open mind. Okay, that was quick. Your future energy. Oh, I love it. The Empress, Taurus, Libra energy, Venetian. You could be dealing with a Virgo as well. Um, Venus, love though. You could be dealing with a Cancer. An Aries, a Taurus, a Leo, or a Scorpio. This is about self-love. This is about nurturing a brand new beginning for yourself. Uh, remaining centered in what it is that you really truly want aphrodite i'm also modeling with the doorless today go check out their shop i love it i love it a solar eclipse revolution so leo cross watcher all right check we have leo on your chart your rising sun your sun sign say there is a relationship that's not working out for you it's not working anymore you're not really sure how to tell the other person poof something happens to the other person that snatches that person from your life Say you really wanted that divorce to go through, but the courts have been acting crazy and da, da 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 Poof, it gets done. Say it's a job that's not working out for you anymore. And you're not really sure. You're like, I got bills to pay. Da, 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 da. Poof, the whole company gets shut down and you get fired. This is a crisis. This is like a huge change. Aries Scorpio energy. It's like a huge change. Um, you could be going through a breakup, a divorce, an ending. You could even just be uh, relocating completely, making a huge move in your life. But this huge change that may even feel like a crisis was meant to happen to bring you towards love. Rather, it's the love for yourself, the love for your family, the love for your friends, or real love, you know, heading into a relationship. So it relinquishes you into the energy of love, Leo. I love it. I love it. I love it. You are the heart, Leo. So that's pretty good to know. Let's get into it, though. Let's see. What can you tell us for Leo? What does Leo not see coming in their future? What don't they see coming in their future? <clears throat> All right. And you know what to do. If you like the flow, ride the wave. Like the vibe, join the tribe. Feel free to comment, like, and let's subscribe. This is for Leo. All right. Some of you are moving. Well, family wishes come true. Okay. Dagger, fears, fear, worries, ten situations. Broom, new home, new attitude. You could be moving, uh, traveling, relocating. June, something could be happening in June. Dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. They could have a dog, okay? They could have dogs, or dogs are important. Dogs represent loyalty. If you do hear anything, it's just my dogs. They just got these big brand new beds that I bought for them, and they don't know how to act now. <laughs> Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. You could be meeting someone brand new, Leo. Bird perch, waiting for news, package, letter. And barrel, you feel something lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. So this is a feeling of emptiness. The barrel, whenever that card comes out for me, typically means emptiness. Let's see what you got in the other deck okay what can you tell us for leo what do they not see coming in their future for leos okay and man dealing with a relationship with a man you could be meeting a brand new person okay cool, cool. you could be uh um entering into a relationship venetian energy is love 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 okay turkey someone is behaving stupidly so let's see what's going on here. Let's get into what do your animal spirits want to tell you. Let's see. That was quick. Sea turtle protection. You are the master of finding life's flow. You know, Leo, before I even did your reading, I was like, it just feels like it's very flowy. I think it's just flowing. Be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. Persevere and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. You have everything you need. I feel like you're loving yourself. A lot of self-love, caring, taking good care of yourself, being happy, um, and accepting that change is consistent. That's the one thing that's consistent in this world. Loon, intuitive, listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. This is um, realizing you don't really need to seek out love. Love is already within you. The love you have for yourself, being grateful. Being very grateful. I think you're just, I feel like you're just really at peace. You feel really peaceful, Leo. Leos are typically at peace, though. Um, I think you feel like something big is coming and it leads you to love. Something huge is coming. So we'll see what's going on for you, Leo. 
This is a lot of cards, but I'll read them for you. You have Lord Byron. Be mad, bad, and dangerous to know. Love will find a way through paths where wolves fear to prey. Friendship is love without his wings. Um, you could even be getting into a relationship that has formed from a friendship. Usually that card literally represents like a friends becoming lovers, okay? Or getting into a, a committed relationship. Um, it can also symbolize that it is risky to get in a relationship. You don't know if it's going to work out, but you're going to take that risk anyways. Because, you know, you love somebody. Simple, right? Elizabeth, one, have the heart of a man and the body of a woman. This is the virgin queen. I would rather be a beggar and single than a queen and married. A clear and innocent conscience fears nothing. Um, honestly, a lot of you have not been searching for a relationship, but I feel like that's what's coming to you. You may have been preserving your body, taking good care of yourself. Everybody loved Elizabeth I. She was an amazing leader. She ruled with uh, morality and dignity. Um, and she was okay with being single. I feel like you're okay with being single, but that's about to change. Hmm. George Clooney, if you commit the perfect heist, make sure you don't brag about it. He actually just revealed that he gave 14 of his, of his friends $1 million each because they all helped him out at some point in his life, whether it was sleeping on his couch or um, just helping him with the things that maybe he needed to help on his career. And now look how successful he is. Intelligence is the sexiest attribute. Once you share your personal life, it's not personal. I think this is a relationship you will keep very private. If you get away with something, maybe you're sneaking away from someone or it's, it's a messy, messy breakup or whatever. Um, this is not something you're going to brag about. It's like something you're just going to accept and move on. Um, because intelligence is very sexy. Okay? Just moving on. Sometimes the best thing to say is nothing, right? To give no reaction at all. Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, always be the first lady. She was a Catholic first lady. Um, married from love, from money, but most of all companionship. Don't just take the picture, enter it. I feel like you're going to be enjoying the now. This isn't about trying to show off and all that stuff or needing to prove that you were there. It's about I'm here. I'm happy. You know, you being happy. I like that for you, though, Leo. I do. I like that for you. I sort of feel like using this deck today. So let's get into it. I feel like you deserve this new beginning that's coming in for you. It's going to make you very happy, Leo. Very, very happy, mi amor. If you felt like something was lacking, this is something you're now going to be feeling in yourself. Uh, marriage and stuff like that, relationships, it's not all about money or looks or status. It's about love. It's about friendship. And every great relationship starts with friendship. Okay? So you could be putting yourself out there. You could be getting to know new people. You could just be very social, like a social butterfly. There's a huge change coming, but it leads to your revolution. So Leo's future, please. Holy Spirit, give us some beautiful news for Leo. Seven of Wands, Leo Mars, Leo Aries Scorpio, standing up for yourself, putting up boundaries. Seven of Wands is always an energy of standing up for what it is that you believe. And that's beautiful, Leo. You need to be in that element. High Priestess, Moon in Virgo, you can be dealing with a Taurus, a Libra, a Pisces, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Scorpio. Uh, this is the High Priestess. She's, you know, the psychic, the shaman, the medium, the seer, the healer, the tarot card reader. This is the woman that a man believes they cannot have. They believe she's unattainable. She is attainable, okay? She just doesn't settle for just anything or anyone. She wants a spiritual and emotional connection one day in her life. She studies independently. She stays to herself. She's very intuitive and she's one of those people who already knows because she has her intuition. She doesn't need to watch. She doesn't need to look. She already knows. She doesn't even need to say anything. This is a woman who will only give you advice if you ask for it. She's very fertile. She's quiet unless you say something to her. Unless you say, if you don't say anything to her, she's going to just, you know, respect your, your peace. That's literally the high priestess. She's just a naturally quiet person. That is Virgo energy. Ooh, Chariot, Cancer, Aries, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Bounce, well, I love this. This is good, Leo. So someone's coming towards you. I love it. This is you maybe even moving forward in your life. The Emperor's in the driver's seat. Okay, the Emperor's in the freaking driver's seat. But it's just a, it's just a vibration. But there could be someone coming towards you. This could be support from a friend. 
This is um, Rags to Riches story. If you've been like, look, money's been a little ant lately, or I've just have been having difficulty moving on from something, this is you sort of being like pushed in it. This is when it's out of your control. This is out of your control, okay? What can you tell us for Leo's future, please? Wow, it feels like you made that really, really, really simple though. You have Queen of Cups, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Ophetius. What do you have for... I feel like if you've been single for a long time, you're about to be in a committed relationship. Yeah, Page of Swords, someone's going to be texting you, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, because you stood up for yourself. You're in your heart space. Like, this is going to lead you into a long-term relationship. That's beautiful. Yeah. Sun in Scorpio could be Leo or Aries. You've known this person before in past lives, or you've known them from elementary school, middle school, or high school, or college. Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Fisius, Pisces. There could be the loss of a boy, like a child, or it's like there's been delays. Someone has delayed moving forward or coming towards you. Ace of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, or Fisius. You're moving on after a breakup or unrequited love. So this could be like... It like this love comes out of nowhere like they're not even looking for it and it just comes out of nowhere it could be someone brand new or someone you've known in previous lives before give me two more you have two more cards out here two more who oh ten of swords gemini mercury rising above a conflict drama rising above an, a messy messy breakup to move on to something brand new for yourself all right a Leo, this is really gorgeous. Okay, um, the Page of Swords, someone's going to be communicating to you. They're watching you, spying on you. Um, yeah, they're learning new ways to communicate, okay? Whoever this is, you may not even know who this is. They're the King of Swords. They've graduated from the Page of Swords to the King of Swords, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You have Sagittarius, Pisces, Temperance in Reverse. Someone um, has not been willing to learn or there's been a lack of patience. Um, it's like, I feel like you could have also had a boy when you really, you could have had a girl when you really wanted a boy. A lot of you are going through a breakup though. You could be taking back an engagement or a proposal from somebody. You've gone through a messy, 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 messy breakup and you're rising above it and moving on in your life. And someone's coming towards you. And because you moved on, you move into a solid relationship. You've been uh, alone for a long time, healing yourself, most likely abstinent or celibate, just preserving your body for the right person. Um, I do want to see what is this communication going to be? This person is a little frosty. They've been hurt. King of Swords, he's been hurt in love. What is this communication? Seven of Pentacles, you've known them for a long time towards Capricorn or they want to invest in you. Could be somebody brand new, Willie Nelson. He's uh, very clear, wow. He's very clear with what it is that he wants to say. Now, this is the thing, you have the Fool in Reverse, Aquarius, Eva, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, Divine Masculine Energy, uh, David Bowie. You have the King of Cups, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Ophetius. Ace of Swords in Reverse, Buddy Holly, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and the Knight of Swords in Reverse, Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Jimi Hendrix. Now, you also have the Nine of Swords in, um, in the Upright, Gemini, Mars, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio, Little Richard. This is um, the subject of gossip. You could have lied. Okay? You could have lied. This Michael Jackson, this person is in love with you. Uh, they have not told you this. I feel like there could be many people pissed off. Like this is a know-it-all with the Jimi Hendrix energy. This is also someone who's scared to take a leap of faith. Uh, could be very foolish or reckless or just not ready for a commitment. There's another person who wants to communicate to you, but they're pissed off, very angry. Um, you're not gonna be dealing with that person. There's someone coming towards you who has a lot of love for you. They got love to offer with the Michael Jackson energy. They got love to offer you. And um, you're getting rid of a Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, man. You're getting rid of somebody who's lying to you or lied to you. Someone's just really pissed off. They may have mental illness. So that's, you know, 
nothing to be ashamed of. Someone's going through depression, anxiety, and nightmares, okay? Um, they have healing to do, whoever that is. But there's someone else coming towards you with a lot of love. Uh, this is also to be aware that the person coming towards you is in their right mind and they are single. So you guys are the high priestess and the king of swords. He's getting in the driver's seat and this elevates from you being single for a long time to be going into a relationship where you'll be faithful, loyal. And he is gonna elevate it to him, you know, extending love to you being, um, cause the King of Cups doesn't express his love either really. He's not very expressive of his emotions, but he feels a lot. He's a healer, he's psychic himself. Um, this person is going to elevate it. Whoever this, this person is, they could be new, uh, but you've known them in past lives before or in your past from elementary school, middle school, high school, or college. He's gone through a breakup. You could have gone through a messy breakup, but you're meeting somebody who's willing to, um, since you guys have done your healing, it's like this person comes in with love. They could be thinking of approaching retirement as well. So let's see. Um, they rejected another person. Like they've gotten rid of somebody else that was in the way. They are going to communicate to you. So that's pretty beautiful. Um, give us... What are you guys moving forward towards? He's getting rid of something that has no spiritual or emotional connection. Uh, Rami, Malik, Mr. Robot, Leo, Saturn, Leo, Capricorn. Someone's letting go of fears, worries, other people, interferences. They're clearing the way for that. The universe could also be doing that, and they're going towards the Queen of Wands. Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ophetius, someone who's single, your friend. They see you as a friend where there's no drama. You're high vibrational. You're single. You're ready to mingle. You're doing your own thing. You're very attractive. And he's not in victim mentality. Gemini, Sagittarius, Gemini, Jupiter could be Pisces. Terry, O'Quinn, lost. He is no longer in victim mentality. Someone could be getting out of jail. Congratulations. Anything else you could tell us? Not that energy there. Yeah, he's the Knight of Pentacles. He's been doing some healing, or you will be doing healing. Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius. Libra, Jupiter, Libra, Sagittarius, Pisces. Edward James Olmos, uh, Battlestar Galactica, and Peter Falk, Columbo. The truth is you want somebody who has healed. Um, this is a good friend. You've known this person. They're from your past, possibly. Or there's someone who moves very slow. They've been healing. Um, you want somebody who's going to come to you healed. Healed, not uh, get in a relationship and then do their healing. Like, no. Of course, you're not going to wake up every day um, or wake up one day and be completely healed. But you also don't want to be with somebody who's still healing from, you know, abusive relationships or things that didn't work out for them. So this person has been healing or they've been taking time away from social media. They move very slow. You guys are friends. Cancer Mercury. You guys are friends. Lisa Kudrow, friends. It's going to feel like a reunion on the low. Six of Swords, Aquarius, Mercury, Gene, Roddenberry, Star Trek. Moving on to Karma Waters. They're moving on after a breakup. They were in the dark. They were having to heal from somebody where it was just, they, they, it felt like it nearly killed them. That's what it's going to at least feel like when they got rid of somebody or when they're getting rid of somebody. But they're healing. They realized there was no spiritual or emotional connection and it pisses them off. Something about this is like mental illness towards Gemini, Chris, Libra, the Knight of Swords in reverse. They're just really pissed off. They find out something that really pissed them off. And then they it leads them to the will of fortune. Aquarius, Taurus, Seal, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius. Communication from one of those signs or heading into a long-term relationship. After letting go of something that is just not working. Okay, so let's, that was a beautiful reading. This is celebrating, mingling. You could be FaceTiming with this person. You could be calling this person, texting this person, just getting to see like how they are. The Three of Cups is always like a, a beautiful energy of friendship. You could find this person funny. Huh, this looks like a whale. It makes me feel like saying a mermaid or a whale. Maybe you see somebody as a mermaid or you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Ophetius. Whoever you're going towards, it elevates from someone who's been single for a long time, King of Swords, High Priestess, to King of Cups, Queen of Cups, a match. So that's beautiful. Um, let's see, what can you tell us about the person Leo's inquiring about, please? Wow, Leo, thanks for making this quick. You're standing up for yourself. Somebody finds that very sexy, but it stresses them the hell out. This man looks stressed. He's like, oh my gosh, she's standing up for herself, but they like that about you. You're the your opposites. Um, lost spouse, somebody could have lost a spouse. 
Like there could have been a death. My condolences. Divorce. Someone's divorced. Thank goddess. <laughs> Someone is divorced, okay? It's not who you think. Someone could have broken up with somebody or they're divorced or something like that. They don't have anybody around them. King of Swords is single. Fair and light features. Someone has fair and light features and it's a single parent. So this person was naturally born with fair or light skin or even um, like hair or features. All right, okay, cool. Much older, you may be much older. High Priestess is always younger than you. So you're the King of Swords. You could be a lawyer, a writer, a doctor, hell, even a rapper or singer, or you could even be someone in the military with the King of Swords energy. But you are dealing with someone who's health conscious. She's also very fertile, so please be aware of that, okay? Um, and loyal. There'll be a lot of loyalty in this new relationship. I love it. I think you guys have a healing mission to do together. And so, like things just get eclipsed. If there was interferences or people in the way, closed off. The King of Swords can be a little frosty. If that was a problem, like you were needing to heal so you could let this person in, that's going to be removed. Okay, there's going to be a lot of things that are just removed to let you move forward towards somebody. Wow, I like it. But you had to be willing to learn. There's deep love here. What else can you tell us for Leo? Unhappy without you. Okay. You could be dealing with a, the Queen of Wands is like a tarot card reader, a psychic, a shaman, a medium, a seer. Could work in the occult or the metaphysical. Could be a model, a singer, a dancer, an actor. She's popular, well-known. She's in the spotlight. You could see her on display. Wanting forever. There's no drama, though. I love that. The Five of Wands is in reverse. If you were thinking, I mean, she is, you know, she's in the upright, so she's a friend. She's not like a third party or anything like that. But the Five of Wands in reverse, it's not... 50 million different people buzzing around her, okay? She's being very cautious about who she even talks to or anything like that. She wants the real thing. So make that very clear to her next birthday. There's nobody, she also doesn't let anybody interfere in her love life, okay? So the decision she makes, she makes for herself. Listen to advice from others, go for it. So there could be people encouraging you to go for this deep love even though it may be different than people thought it would look like. You'll be doing this by next month. Congratulations. Make the first move by next month. King of Swords, you're going to be saying your truth. Congratulations. I love it. I love to see it. Next year, something's going to be happening by next year. Beautiful. You could be in a relationship by the next year. A decision is needed. Some of you guys will be making a decision. Your intuition is telling you there could be relocation coming. They're going to be putting in the effort by next year. Okay, so someone is doing healing. They don't want to bring problems into their next relationship, okay? Whoever that is, you know, keep living your life, keep moving forward, but someone's going to come into your life that has healed and they want to work through differences. Stick it out, things will improve. Okay, I love it. I love to see it. Let's get you a message from your higher self. All right, Leo. For who? Financial gains coming your way. Someone else had that. I'd go check out some of the other readings. You're set to receive extra income, so spend it wisely. Your affirmation is, I welcome abundance into my life. I am safe and secure. Write this as many times as you can. Let's get you a message from your deceased loved ones, spare guides of the light. I love it. Someone else had that. This is a really good reading for you, Leo. I feel like it feels like a crisis, but then boom, everything like... Uh, comes together you could be a teacher with the high priestess as well or you're dealing with a teacher octopus be smart and success is yours think fast and act wisely you can't go wrong my aff the affirmation is i trust my abilities and welcome success write this affirmation as many times as you can today um the reason it didn't come together sooner was because there was a lot of lessons that needed to be learned um and you wouldn't have been able to achieve the things that you have unless you were single while doing it. And so now love is being introduced into your life, Leo. What is your future? The number 19, the sun. You're gonna be receiving a message from Aquarius to Seal Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, okay? You're gonna be heading into a long-term relationship. So get ready, Leo, okay? Cross watchers, if you were here about Leo, they're heading into a long-term relationship. So uh, if this is about you being in love with them or Leo, you're in love with somebody. Make the first move, all right? It looks like the King of Swords, Page of Swords. Someone has graduated. They're coming towards you with a text. Um, they're going to elevate it from the King of Swords to the King of Cups. You're going to elevate from the High Priestess to the King of Queen of Cups in a relationship. You're going to get in a relationship. Loan no money on this day. If you do, they'll not repay. 
Though your troubles seem so great, be firm and do not quill. Have courage in yourself, deep friend. Dear friend, you'll win, you cannot fail. Expect a letter of abuse from one whom you thought a friend. A good chance for your wish. Somebody's abusive. Ooh, -wee. someone is abusive. Um, make sure you stay away from anybody abusive or manipulative, okay? Um, let me see that again real quick. <laughs> don't loan any money. Don't be an extra giver. Leo, I know you love to give from your heart, but don't be giving out a bunch of money and stuff. Um, don't, don't do that, okay? Just save and um, stand up for yourself, right? Stand up for yourself. Um, don't loan any money because they won't repay you. And um, don't be an extra big giver. Learn the art of receiving, okay? Learn the art of reciprocity and only deal with people who do believe in reciprocity, not people who are gonna gaslight, manipulate, or use you for your status, your money, or your looks, or sex, or whatever. That's what I got for you, Leo. Looks like you're heading towards real love. Stand up for yourself and keep away people who may try to take that away from you. All right, don't let them interfere. Keep moving forward, Leo. I love it. Later.